hello now here on the screen I have a simple 2d geometry for beginners to practice with now I'm going to recreate this very geometry using the specified dimensions here now before I do that I will have to specify my drawing units and that I'll do by typing un enter then from the drop down window I now choose my units so here on the length type I'm going to choose decimal it's already highlighted okay decimal on the precision I'm going to choose zero because I do not want any fraction then on the precision I choose millimeters on the angle type I choose decimal degrees and precision I choose zero so that would be enough for that setup and I click OK now back on the drawing now as you can see this dimension is 40 and here I have 10 by 10 which means from here to the here will be 60 so I'm going to draw a square of 60 by 60 first so I move down to the draw panel and with the rectangle command I'm going to create a square of 60 by 60 so I type 60 now click on the tab key and type 60 again okay so that square has been created now I'm going to create another smaller square of 10 by 10 which is this so with the rectangle command again I draw another rectangle of 10 by 10 10 tab key 10 I click enter okay now I'm going to move this very square from this very point I put it here okay that's done okay now with the array command I'm going to array this very square and position it on the other corners of this very big square so I go down to the array command click here here I'm going to choose the polar array click on this very square then locate the center of this very square now here is the quadrant the here is the geometric center of this very square so I click on this and that's the center of this very array now I have six of those squares but I just need only four so I right click I choose items and enter four okay so I exit that command okay now I have the four squares positioned at the right place now I do not need this bigger square again so I'm going to erase it but before I do that I have to create the center circle here which radius is the diameter is 20 so I click on the circle command again and locate the geometric center of this very big square which is here and I draw a circle of diameter 20 okay now I don't need this square again so I have to erase it so I click on that and erase again I have to explode these squares I remove the portions I don't need in them so I go down to the modify panel and click on explode I'm going to explode all these squares okay now remove the portions I don't want here this one goes I don't need these ones now I 
find the zombies, this and this. No, erase them. Okay. So it is time to create this arc. Now there are different methods with which we can create arc. This one has to go. Okay, erase that one too. Now here is the arc command in the drop panel. Now when you click on this tiny arrow on the arc icon, here you find several methods with which you can use to create the arc. Now to create this very arc on this very geometry, I'm going to use the start, end and radius method. And that is this start, end, radius. So I'm going to click on this start, end, radius. Okay. Now we know the, the radius here is 20. So now circle rotation here is anti clockwise. So I'm going to st start from here. I'm going to start from here and end it here and put the radius. So I'm going to choose the start point from here, end here, and enter the radius of 20. Here is 30. Enter. So that radius has been, that arc has not been created. Now I'm going to use the array command again to position this very arc on the other three sides of this very geometry. So I hold down to the modify panel again and click on the polar array. Now click on this very arc, enter. Now look at the center of this very circle and click. Again, I have six of those arcs here, but I just need only four. So I right click and choose items and enter four. Okay, so I right click again and click enter. So you can see that this geometry is now complete. So let me just apply the thickness to finish it up. So here I move down to the properties panel and choose the thickness I want for this very geometry. Okay. Now highlight this on the property, click on this and the choose the thickness and right escape again okay so you can see that this is complete so you can practice this and thank you for watching and do subscribe for more of these tutorials